Hello everybody, Lab Bar Chief, and welcome back to Bowler's Gate 3. So we're tuning in for the first time, we're still in the Shattered Sanctum. We've just taken on Draw Ragzalin, who is the last of the Goblin Leaders. Um, as you can see, we're a bit banged up because it was a hell of a fight. Um, but we got it, and we got most of the Goblins as well. And we also had a bit of a bonus fight with Spiders at the end, so it was a bit of a fun fight, but we need uh, we are in dire need of long rest. Um, Story-wise, uh, we actually are with the journal. So I get to the Moonrise Towers, which is as far as I understand it, it's in the Underdark. Um, which means we're looking for a door down here, which is still in the tanks. But before we do that, I'm actually going to head back to the camp, because uh, we rescued the Druid Halsin, who we've been looking for for most of the game, in fact. Um, so we're going to tie up some loose ends at the Druid camp, but also sell some gear. I want to change out some of our gear, uh, you know, switch out some of our companions' gear, sell some stuff, and replenish some of our items. I want to, I want to switch out some things, because he doesn't need the flame arrows. They should be on Asterion, for example. And we also picked up a cool new weapon for Carlac. But so let's um, jump to our map. Can we jump to the Emerald? I don't think I need to be there, did I? Did I? Oh, we did have a thing for Emerald Grove, you stupid man. Wait. Oh, there's no fast travel point there, of course. Of course, it bloody isn't. Right, okay, let's go. Moving in. I'm a bit rushed on the controls, as I did mention last episode. I had a critical hard drive failure that I lost about 25 episodes because I did explore most of the other dark. We very nearly finished Act Three, Act, act One, sorry. Um, and then the uh, my Shiba hard drive fucked me basically. Um, so don't ever buy from them. Is my advice to you. This door should open with a certain cord, correct? Yeah. Um, no, I just didn't have the heart to redo the episodes. And then Starfield came out, I was just so busy with that. <coughs> I did lose um, a couple of episodes of the Buried Bandit as well, so I've got to re redo that. So we're a bit behind on everything. Uh, I've been... scout just Hello. reported. The Goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Thank you so much. What's to give us? It's not enough, but it's all we have. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps yeah. we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Absolutely, man. Yeah, we'll see you there. Absolutely, that'd be great. Right, so this is all the refugees. Uh, so it kind of wraps up most of the storyline here, as I remember. Um, we're not going to do any hiding, no. Hmm. It's Aaron. So it's true. It is. You scattered the goblins. I did. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, man. I'm just glad I could help. Uh, as am I. <laughs> and I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. I want to trade if you've anything good. Of course. Oh my god, we are so full of shit. Um, so, let's go to the rings. Ugh. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that either, truthfully. Got one of those. Hmm. I need a push to sleep. <clears throat> okay. Do great healing. What else? Um. We got it. We'll keep those. We're wearing chainmail plus one. Right. I'm not really sure what I need. I think this is something I'll have to do between videos, probably, and really get through my inventory because we've got a lot of crap um, that we really, truthfully don't really need. I don't think. Um, 
We've got some money on us though, wow. Ah. Uh, oh, there's a cell where's this gonna be a new thing, right? Did that. That's all the shit we've sold him over the years. Uh We want those, don't we? Uh, I don't know, this is stuff we can buy from him, right? Trivia, health potions. Alright. Ah! <clears throat> right, what about, uh, I haven't got much stuff, I was gonna, I've got a mace for her to use actually, um, you can keep yours, he's got a bit of crap, oh I think we just, did it sell all the wares from everybody, I think it did didn't it, that's our party gold isn't it, I think. Yeah. Mm. Don't need that. 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 Truth be told. Don't need that. Don't need those. Don't need that. I might keep the helmet for it to wear. Uh, Basil boots, definitely don't need those. Okay. Alright, uh, like butter. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Okay. Of chromatic orb. Huh. Huh. Okay. Not sure if we need anything else, really. He's got so much stuff on him. He just, he's the guy that picks up everything as the party leader. Still there. Uh, yeah. All right. May you keep balance. Thanks, thanks, Aaron. Um, so what I want to do is pick up some stuff. Uh, did I sell the bow I was going to give to? Uh, oh, I did, didn't I? Fucking moron. Um. I wanted to have an additional range attack because this is not really working out with her fireballs. But when she runs that spell, she's kind of buggered. We'll put this on. Did that not work? Yeah. Uh. Right, let's circle it. Oh, that's got to change. We need some gear for her. Do we have another helmet? We do. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Okay. Oh, I didn't sell the skimmer from him. We've got this bow, though. We can give that to... Because he's now got a decent bow. There's also this mace. <laughs> Want to give her? Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, we can sell the Morning Star, and then we have the Dark Ring. I wonder what that's for. Let's put some of this crap down here. Uh, we'll keep that on. 
her just in case something she needs in the longer run. Bloody, bloody great axe. Fuck me. How's that? It's a lot better than what she's using. No, the one I wanted to use was um this. I'm gonna pop that on her inventory. Then we're gonna equip it because what she's using is this, but this will be a lot better for her because what it does, if you look, you get absolute power. It's 19 to 33 damage. That's that's a big fucking hit, and that. Um, does a surge of divine energy accompanies your swing and possibly pushes enemies back by five meters and the other thing i wanted to do we had some boot uh, let's um i think everything else is more or less the same backbreaker guess a smash yeah they're all about the same so we had some what boots does she have line breaker so these once per turn we need to actually gain wrath for two turns what is wrath Some bonus damage. Some, I said, I don't know if that's great. What I wanted to do is, is it these ones that we need on Asterion, don't we? It's gonna be better than his. Let's put those in his inventory. I need to sort all the inventory out again, but do it another time. Uh, Gloves of the Growling Underdog. Underdog's bravery. The wearer gains advantage on melee attack rolls. Rolls surrounded by two more foes. Now this has got Karlak written all over it. So we're going to put that in her inventory. Because this is just her like pure savagery. She's she's kind of the tank when we send in to absorb damage, right? But they'll also be really good on um, the Gith. I forget. I keep forgetting. Twice, two episodes. I've forgotten her name. Uh, did we pick up? Springs that boots and momentum. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to change. I did want to give the funky arrows to Asterion because he's the main archer. Really. Um. There was something else I had, wasn't there? Oh, actually, let's just put this. That's going to go in his inventory. No, yeah, need just needs funky arrows. I'm um, going to put that. Place up with that. I think they had the fire arrows. He wants those. Was there anything else? I'm not sure. So much stuff on us. Ah. Uh. Right, what have we put in there? Did I did I mean to put that on her? Anyway, yeah, that'll do. Let's um, go find you know what I wanted to do before well, I forget. You can send the dog through. Can we not? Maybe you can't get through. At least things have stayed interesting. Oh. Oh, right. I had no idea that was there. 
I'm sure when I played this before, that was just a hole. You can send the dog through little Breathe tiny deep. crevices. Move. Uh, no, let's not rob the, the uh, druids. Am I going the right way? Yes, here we go. I'm going to speak to Halton. Right, let's see what's going on here. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Helsin. Right, uh... You know, I don't think... Because we already told her off, she'd, she'd been admonished by us and her, basically, leader. So I guess we'll just say... You'll have a lot on your hands. You'll have your hands full, though, yeah. She, show, she shows great spirit, to put it mildly. She shows great insolence. But time will humble her, and the grove still needs her. Fair enough. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. It does. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. What happens next? The journey to Moonrise Towers and all the dangers that that entails. But yeah. that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. All right. Banished. Then banish me. When the coming army, there will be none. Tonight. I'm going to speak to one of their leaders, uh, Rath. I think he's in here. There he is. Speak up. You've done it. I did. You brought House in back. I did. Thank you. No. Thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. No. No, it wasn't. You arrogant fuck. Think nothing of it. I'm glad Halston is safe. As am I. The grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Okay. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Okay. Let's have a look. Is that is a quest marker? No. All right, then. That's totally not ready to go, is it? No. Yeah, that's where we're going to go.
answers here. Yeah, that's what the rune's for. What sort of check? A parasite brimming with magic. Take it. Yeah. So look. Read. Track the druid, find whatever burrow he runs to and pull back to me. Remember, you are only a scout, do not engage, do not kill anyone, simply observe and return. I shall decide what we do next. Um, that's me, Thara, I presume. Alright, uh, what else do we have? You know what, let's just pick up Maybe the ingredients. Yeah. We haven't really done much of the crafting yet in this game. Truth be told, I'm still gathering ingredients. I was getting to grips with it. There's a lot of stuff I don't know. I said I'm really rusty. I haven't played this game for about three weeks. Two weeks, yeah. It's so frustrating to have had. I had. The plan was because I had about 25 episodes recorded, and the plan was to get through that. And then um, hammer through a few, you know, get really head on Starfield, and then we could just get those uploaded and concentrate on the um, Elden Ring series. And it just didn't work out that way. No, I'll give it a shot. But we're getting we're getting caught up, so um, I really want to get back to the Hadbert Bandit, right? So we need to put in where's the rune? No, that's a burnt journal, not bar. Rune of the Wolf. There we go. So we have to activate them. Is it that? Cheeky bastards. I wonder if you could do this. <laughs> An alternative way of pickpocket the bits you need. So down here, I remember this bit. There's a... Secret Society of the Sword Coast exposed. Let's have a look. Harpers, the most well known of the Sword Coast cabals, perhaps, but certainly not benign in its shrouded doings. My sources claim that those belonging to this mysterious faction abhor power. With a, a, a poor, sorry. But if that is so, why do they not expose the revelations of, it, of their inquiries for the public good? Why indeed? Because knowledge is power, and the harpers intend to keep both of themselves. Shallow, dru sh shallow shadow druids. <coughs> Weigh the life of a man against that of sapling oak. What do you write? What do you value more highly? Ask Shadow Druid the self same question and be shocked by their answer. This dangerous group utterly disregards intelligent life in favor of the plants, the life of plants and insects. Their perversion of the natural order leads them to plan and execute plots so dastardly that the mere description of one would leave you glancing sideways at your begonias. The Order of the Clerd. The Clerd? The Clerd. Uh, the least known and accordingly most dangerous of the secret societies I've researched is the Order of the Clerd. My sources tell me that this shadowy conspiracy of murderers, mutilators and tyrants regularly meet to plan the demise of any number of innocent citizens of our fair land. What's more, they like it. The Dark Just Seers. Now this is actually something we want to... Um, this is Shadowheart's uh, aspiration to be a Dark, dark Just Seer. Um, so I shudder to even descri inscribe their name upon the purity of this page just leave it as... So leave it at this, they worship Shah. So does Shadar. To be fair, she's alright. I mean, she's a bit extreme. Let's uh, use a different person. Hmm. She's got more. It doesn't say this is stealing, right? So we can just take it. So we've got uh, elixir of poison resistance. That sounds pretty useful when we're fighting spiders and things. Uh, we have basic poison, we have wyvern toxin, and we have antidote. So that's one. We yeah, have scroll of whole person, awesome, and scroll of animal friendship. Thank you. 
Okay. The adult speaking is excellent because it gives you the opportunity to have some really bizarre uh, experiences. What have we got? Sorrow. This is a spear, isn't I should it? Take that. I don't think she can use it. Let's have a look. So this does 3 to 12 damage. Let's inspect it. 3 to 12 damage. Um, Sorrowful Slash. So this does... It's a transmutation cantrip. There's four to seven damage. Pulls the creature three meters closer towards you, right? So the target can't pull off if you choose your size. So well, that's a bonus action. So you can use that and other things. And this has got rush attack and so on so forth. It's not better than what she has, so it doesn't really matter. I think I suspect that might get fed to Gale because it's not very good. Um, hmm. Who would note? What does this say? The emerald, the emerald Enclave won't send help, even if I asked. This land is wounded, the road is deep, but it's everywhere. I can't wait for help to come, but perhaps I need not face this toughness alone. Maybe not. I wouldn't try. Robe of Summer. Grants resistance to cold damage. Interesting. And a jade. jade. That's, that's a sellable light, yeah. Um... Anything else on here? I think that's everything of... Uh, note, right? Yeah, so let's get back with Elfric. Still alive. I am, yeah. Progress. Indeed. Let's see what this does. That's a door. It's a door staircase. Back. Same as it did when we came down, right? <clears throat> That's not a seen everything. What does this say? Uh, read. How long is this? Not too long. Okay. An excerpt from the ongoing metatext rebound by Iosefa Elgrin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denari. Denaire? For her heretical, heretical to be reconstruct metatext. What the fuck is the metatext? Her gods are now lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value is life? Far too exotic, exotic. I can't. I can't say that word. Esoteric. A topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and the dewy eyed sentiment so often is shrouding, clouding, shrouding, clouding our assessment. Well, they both work. Clouding our assessment. It is clear that across all spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have quantifiable value. It is. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. I mean, that's. I don't agree with that. I think every life is valuable, but that's, that's a longer conversation. Um, consider, we already know the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in the search of the resting place that befits our deeds. Beliefs and station in life, but even this assessment is subject to market forces. And Lord Kelimvor, weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternative route, not the end of the path, the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realms will the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It's strange, then, that these so frequently intersect those with those deemed wealthy enough. Yeah, no, no shit. Uh, for the, uh, the the rich get what they want, no surprise there. Um, but the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. Mm -hmm. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth I found them to be of most dull and unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it was they were so eager to return to. <laughs> if a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there's simply no replacement for uh, embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps someday this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk through the path and be worthy enough to return. So he's basically saying he wants to kill himself and then research to get right. What if it doesn't work, man? Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Disorders of the Nerves of Mind, a treatise. Uh, read. Oh, that's only two pages, right. There came to me a woman whom I shall henceforth call R, greatly distraught at the unusual tempers of her husband, whom I shall henceforth call B. R and B, gotcha. Uh, three months prior, he suffered night sweats, crying out from sleep that he bore the mark of chaos. Two months prior, he had taken to call himself by name Seravok. One month ago, he'd speak of little else but the throne of which he is destined. I attended to be at the couple's farmhouse. He sat calmly to the table, an unknown, an, <clears throat> an unknown book clutched to his chest. I detected no curse or loathsome spirit upon him, nor the presence of magic. Yes, 
yet upon shining the light of candle flame upon him, he raised the book high and exclaimed, The deaths they bring shall awaken the father, and through them he will rise. Yeah, that doesn't sound fucked at all, does it? Um, I snatched the book from his hand and flung it into the hearth, where it burned not in the red or the yellow flame, but in the pure black, it left not a single scrap reading. He foresaw his coming death, and seeded his essence across the land, and be shivered aside, as if waking from a nightmare. He had no memory of the book, nor the words he had spoken. Diagnosis, unspecified neurotic enthrallment, treatment, herbal tincture of garlic and trace. What the fuck is trace? Stiff thrice daily is exhaustion. That actually reminded me very much of the interview of the vampire. Not the interview of the vampire, um, Rav Stokes Dracula. When they, where, um, Jonathan Harker's diary, because in the book it's all read in the diary format. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a very good read if you haven't read it, by the way. Uh, well, we'll leave those books where they are. We don't need any more shit in our storage. Is there anything else? Personal account. What's this? In Catheric, I see our failures made manifest. He did not fail. Paul, he was pushed. His grief was twisted by shadow, and still we shall not act until this light was snuffed. Alright, okay. Anything else? No. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. So probably... Uh, can we get out of here? Yeah. Stone door. Just leave me where I'm thinking. No. This is an underground passage. We don't want to be here. Stupid man. Let's go back this way. <sighs> Stop to cut Korga, they called her, didn't they? See so what she has to say. Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. All right. She's not happy with her demotion. I <laughs> take it. Uh, uh, logbook uh, 12, 30, Let's read that. See what it says. This hefty book, hefty book is labeled 1371, stamped with an elegant stag across dark green, against a dark green background. <clears throat> Six Uktar. Is that the date then, I presume? Yeah. Sent to Drew, some of the new recruits up north. Village there had, the village there has had two years of failed crops and are likely to survive the next winter. Nine, nine Akhtar. A group from Boulder's Gate arrived. They've set, set up camp at the edge of the forest. Two bears and a fox came by. The territory has been burned out. Half the fox's cubs died. Praying this new group visits, visit tomorrow. Akhtenta. Visit did not go well. After telling me where to shove it, <laughs> they said they cut down half the forest and burn any wildlife that dead to so stick around. Claim they were going to farm the land and make a new city of their own. Time to get creative. Twelfth Akhtar. Much like the trick. Buried half their farm equipment and made the rest useless. They won't be back anytime soon. Got reports of Red Wizard in the village of South Pier, sending three rangers to investigate. If they catch even a whiff of the Red Cloak, contact the house of Sylvanas. Alright. Okay. Say. By claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, mm -hmm. Sylvanas, god of nature. All right. So I think we'll probably put a cut in here and we'll call, we'll just, you know, this is really just kind of cleaning up the savior of the village, right? And I think we'll head to the, um, Master house tell us about camp. We'll rest here and go to the camp and meet the druids, uh, the, the druids, the tieflings, and Kevlor in the next episode. Because uh, there's quite a bit of dialogue, from what I remember, and I've done it once already. Uh, and we'll talk to everybody in camp and see how that goes. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.